On Survivor, 16 to 20 people compete in various challenges for reward and or immunity. While reward is great to have, immunity is the most important aspect of the show. If you don't have immunity, then you must go to tribal council and risk being voted out of the game. But we'll talk about this further, later on. We'll also delve into why I have such a passion for Survivor and my dream to one day be on the show. Although I don't know if this dream will ever come true, since the casting director for Survivor, Jody Winchesky, has said that roughly 15,000 people apply each year, and they choose roughly one-tenth of percent of those applicants. I've wanted to be on Survivor ever since I saw the first season of November in last year, and so began my involvement. My passion for Survivor began when the drama, began when the drama started in season 28. Season 28 was the first season I watched because I started to watch it on Netflix and they only had seasons 20 and 28. Well, I watched 28, I got to 20 and I learned that it was a reunion episode. So I had to start from the beginning so I, I could watch season 20. I've watched a total of 26 seasons, seasons one through 25 plus season 28. The episodes are roughly 40 minutes with 90 minute premieres and finales. There's 16 total episodes per season, but I only watch 14 of these since I skipped the recap in the middle and the reunion show at the end. This means that I've seen approximately 17,160 minutes or 286 hours of Survivor since just November of 2020. Now you're probably thinking, but why? How? That's so much time for just one show. And the, answer, and the answer is simple. I really like it. I find it to be so enjoyable. Survivor has 41 seasons total, with season 41 being filmed currently and has been filmed in 21 different locations. Each season, the 16 to 20 contestants are split into tribes through various methods, with some of them being age, gender, or like you used to pick your teams back in elementary by choosing one kid and then another. Tribes compete for a reward and immunity combo initially. The team without immunity goes to, to tribal and has to vote someone out. The team with immunity is safe from tribal and they get to keep their members. Alliances form within the different tribes, which can help keep you safe at tribal council should your team lose. A big aspect of tribal is your torch. When you go there, Jeff says, grab a torch, which you will light, and this will be the key to your game of Survivor. So you grab it, you light it in the fire, and you set it behind you before you discuss who you're going to eliminate and eventually vote them out. Once the final vote, or the majority vote, has been read to vote someone out, Jeff says that it's their time to leave. He snuffs out their torch and says, your tribe has spoken. Tribes merge at around 10 to 12 contestants, and individual immunity and reward come into play. Alliances still exist at this point from previous tribes, and even within tribe lines, there can be a lot of drama, um, even before the merge, which causes some people to flip sides once the merge happens. So then what you thought might have been a strong team of five dwindles down to a team of four or a team of three. And the only real way to be safe at tribal council is with immunity. There are various forms of immunity. Every time Jeff reveals a new form of immunity, whether it be a statue when it's the tribes, or a necklace once it's two individuals, he says, this is now what you covet. On the top left there is an individual immunity necklace example. The bottom left is a hidden immunity idol, which when played at tribal council means that no votes cast towards you will count. So you're essentially safe, but you have to know the right time to play it. And on the right is an immunity idol for, um, on the right is an immunity idol for when the tribes are still together as one. This has just been a rough guideline to what the seasons of Survivor consist of because there's a whole lot more that goes into it. And the location helps to make each season great. Each slide that you've seen throughout this has had a background of a different location that's been featured on Survivor. Now I haven't been able to fit in all 21 locations, but I've featured some of the pretty cool ones. Typically they're islands, but they've also filmed in places like Australia and Africa. Africa 
was especially interesting because they had to build protection around themselves to keep out lion and other dangerous animals. The gorgeous locations are part of why I want to compete. I want to compete because I love competitions. It seems like fun to meet such a variety of people, and the locations are just absolutely stunning. I've competed in sports throughout my life and other different kinds of challenges, and this, to me, seems like the ultimate challenge. You have little to no food, you're physically drained, you're mentally drained, and you're constantly being harassed by the environments, whether it be rain or the heat. Along with this, people of all different paths and places have competed on Survivor. Here are a few famous Survivor members. Russell Hance was an oil tycoon when he started on Survivor and was quoted saying, last year I made two or three million dollars alone. Jimmy Johnson is a famous NFL coach who competed on Survivor and made it quite far despite having a lot of money already and being so well known. Lisa Welchel is a famous actress from Facts of Life. She played Blair and she made it to the finale of Survivor. I think it would be really neat to get to interact with millionaires, former TV stars, professional athletes, all sorts of rich and famous, and also to interact with the fast food employees, the teachers, and even former homeless members have been on Survivor. And I think that that's something that you can't really get in most other places. And not only that, but the locations, as I've said before, are stunning. They're often tropical, so you get torn to shreds by bugs, but you live oceanfront, and even if you get kicked off, you get to vacation elsewhere. They can't just remove you from the show and put you back into the real world, because everyone would know that you were voted off. So instead, they take you on vacation elsewhere and hide you there for the rest of the 39 days, which I think would be a really great experience, because if you got kicked off third, you don't have to worry about starving, being out in the elements, you just get to go on vacation. I could talk for hours about Survivor and my favorite moments of the show so far, but I'll wrap up now before I get too carried away. Survivor is one of my all-time favorite shows, and I intend to continue watching until they don't make it anymore. I may have only watched 286 hours currently, but that number will keep rising as the days go by. I just finished another season last night. Hopefully one day I'll get to do more than just watch Survivor, but actually get to participate as a contestant. Winning the million dollars would change my life, sure, but just having the experience would change my life too. Meeting that many different people with that many different life experiences would be quite an adventure.